Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I decided to share with you this three ideas on how to make your chapsticks look prettier. I'm using this chapsticks that are from the brand Mongo Kiss, I suppose. I'm trying this brand and I really like this lip balms. I think they're really nice. They last a long time. They are shiny, so easy to apply. They smell nice. This can turn out into a review. The ones that I have, Jammy Berry, Vanilla Honey, and Peppermint one. It's like cruelty free and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna be peeling off the stickers and all these kind of things just so that I can work with the tubes themselves. For my first idea, I'm going to be painting my chapstick with this pink nail polish. I'm going to be using for most of them nail polishes and this pink one is by Simple Colors 24-7 but I'm going to be painting as close to the like twisty thing as I can but I'm not going to be covering it. So I'm just going to be painting this part, giving this few coats until it's like opaque and I cannot see the chapstick anymore. I'm going to be painting the lid as well, separating it uh, from the tube because it's easier to just cover the whole thing. And in this case, I'm going to be using my uh, Insta Dry White Nail Polish. Again, giving this two to three coats and just until I cannot see the lid anymore. And then it's time to decorate this. I'm going to be using my Insta Dry by Sally Hansen hair clip like a bobby pin that is going to be my dotting tool i'm going to be opening my hair clip and i'm going to be adding dots in a polka dot pattern all over the place it's actually really easy i do have a bobby pin diy but i don't have it with me right now and then adding a dot on top i start out by painting my chapstick with my white nail polish and then i'm going to be using this acrylic paint it's called key west and it's a teal one but yeah i'm going to be painting this giving this three coats and the reason i am using nail polish before is because i didn't have nail polish in teal and i feel like acrylic paint on top of plastic doesn't last as long then i'm going to be using this other teal a darker shade by marta stewart and this like eyeshadow brush using that other end of this brush as a big dotting tool adding this in a polka dot pattern and i went with this other dotting tool that i just did it's basically a toothpick holder so my dotting tool here is a toothpick adding dots in between my bigger dots just because i didn't use any nail polish on this and it doesn't shine i'm going to be adding a coat of this like gloss by sculpey my third one i'm going to be painting my chapstick with my black nail polish and then going with the toothpick holder dotting tool that I just mentioned and my gold acrylic paint and I'm going to be adding small tiny gold polka dots all over the place painting my lid in black and then once it's dry in gold on top of that black and then adding a top of my gloss and once you're done with the actual chapstick you can just transfer a new one to this designed container so none of that paint goes to waste. I was gonna do this anyways, and so I thought I would just share, just in case you're looking for something crafty to do. Again, this is me sharing something fun, and then just an idea on how you can make something as uh, simple as a chapstick look um, a bit cuter. Nothing against the Mongo Kiss like design that they have, but I wanted to try my own. I really like them, and hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, check out more fun and easy DIYs that I have on my channel, subscribe for more, let me know what you think of this one, and share this. Thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!